Okay, so I was just talking to She Green, and um, she was describing how something that she wanted, that she recognized that she was doing it from a, a, a place of needing, and what she wanted to do, she wanted to not need these things, but she wanted to want them for the fun of it. She wanted to experience them for the fun of it. Not because she needed them, but for the fun. And literally, I could see her vibration change in her as she was writing the words. I mean, they literally changed from a vibration around these things of need to uh, wanting to have them for fun. Not a want, not a need, but wanting for fun. Let's have fun with this. Let's have fun. It is a completely different vibration. And it was perfect. 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 So that got me to thinking that maybe this might be a good way for you guys or some of you guys to uh, change your vibration because there's different ways for everybody. And you guys have, I think, probably most everybody seen or heard of affirmations and vision boards and uh, those didn't really work for me, but they have worked for a lot of people. Uh, I, th I think a lot of people get upset because they do these things and they don't work for them, but that's because you're unique to you. You have to find the way that works for you. And um, I know a lot of, of uh, singers and people that play instruments that do it with their music. I know a lot of artists that do it while they're painting or drawing or sculpting. Uh, a lot of them. A lot of them do it with the arts. Well, writing is just another form of art. I know that. But it's a form of art that anyone can do. You can write a journal yourself and it does not have to be uh, a, a piece of material that anybody would print or want to read because that's not relevant to it. But y'all might do this because I suggested to her because I saw that it, it was so effective when she typed that that I suggested that she write out a day, her day as she wants it to be our perfect day and I don't mean um, just I'm driving the new car and what that feels like I mean moment to moment that you woke up and you felt great in very very specific details that uh, you felt the your sheets on your skin and how soft it was and how lucky you are to have a bed and to have a roof over your head and to look around that room and how lucky you are to have that room and to have uh, clothes and think about the clothes, the choice of clothes or instead of being overwhelmed by the choice of clothes see yourself, write it down or visualize yourself um, being excited to choose from all the options that you have that you're so lucky that you have all these options that when you get up and ladies that you fix your hair, you take a shower, you fix your hair you put your makeup on instead of being resentful that oh no you got to do your hair again and oh it's such a pain to put on makeup do what kind of artistic way can you do with your hair today and aren't you lucky that you have that option that you can take that hair and and um, make it look however you'd like and if you want to change the color you can change the color if you want to change the cut you can change the cut how lucky you are that you can do that and how lucky you are that you've got the money that you can buy the the makeup so that you can create this unique look on your face that you can make it look however you want it to look from completely natural to m completely wild and bizarre I know it won't be any surprise to you guys that Stephanie has what probably outfits you would consider costumey that uh, and makeup that she puts on that's extremely wild that she does in this small northeastern place and she'll go to town at our small town and people will just look and look, but she does it for the fun of it. So it's not unusual for her to get up and wear a, a long formal uh, with steampunk attire and a top hat and very unique makeup to town to go grocery shopping. That is very normal for her. Um, so you can look at it that way. It's all about perspective, guys. Would you want to visualize that you're already doing that? That you wake up and, and if you like coffee, you can already smell the fantastic smell of coffee in the house that the taste of it going down your throat is right away is perfect that you enjoy preparing breakfast no matter what it is and how lucky you are that you have that you have food to eat 
and how excited you are to go to that job and and uh, that you have to be there at 8 o'clock and aren't you lucky that you have that job that you can go to and that it it reminds you to get up in the morning so you can enjoy that sun as it comes up and, and greets the day and all that fresh newness that comes with that and when you go to work even if you hate the job try looking at it a different way and aren't you lucky that you've got this job and and that you can do this job and that you've got all of your limbs and all in your mind and you're capable of moving it in such a way to do this job and aren't you lucky that you're surrounded with people who also have jobs and look at them differently like they all are creator gods creating their perfect experience and with the last uh, video how I told you that you can't do it wrong and neither can they no matter what they're doing, they can't get it wrong. And what a relief that should be. And send love to every single one of them. And include smiles. See yourself smiling all the time, no matter what. And if you stub your toe back up and smile at that, too, as you're hopping on one foot and going, Wow, well, I don't want that to take me down a wrong road, so I'm just going to sit here until that pain goes away. And how lucky I am that I have a, a toe and a foot and can walk. How lucky I am that I have that furniture that my toe can run into. Turn it into a joke. Make it into a smile. You do that for a whole entire day. Just with what you've got now. Just turn what you've got now into total appreciation and smiles and happiness. Surrounded by the people that you are surrounded with right now. And once you've got that down, then really you'll be surprised at how things start to change. Just by doing that, just by, and you've heard this before, that, that uh, gratitude and appreciation changes everything. It's one of the things on the side of uh, Dr. Emoto's bottles of water, that thank you really changes the molecular uh, structure of those crystals of water that you can see. So try that. It's, it's not that hard. Write it down first. Maybe write it down several days and then practice it in your day try to try to do what you consider a a perfect day get as close as you can to that then start adding those new things that you want start visualizing that you don't have any bills or that you can cover them easily just write it down first then see how far you can get yeah you're not going to get there immediately so what so what you've got nothing but time you spend a lot of time on uh, you're doing other things for every other for somebody else. If you've got a job, you spend 40 hours a week doing that. So why not spend like five minutes writing a perfect day? And how about spending an hour or two during that day just remembering to smile, remembering to look at the situation from a different perspective. Move yourself over just a little bit. See, nobody can get inside of your head and do that for you. And that is how you change your vibration, which takes you to a better, uh, better what you would call a nicer uh, timeline. And that's how you do it. You don't make these big jumps from your clunker car to a Ferrari. You don't do it immediately. Most people don't. I guess some people do. Some people have. Most people don't. Most people, it's step by step by step. And if you look step by step by step it's much easier than trying to go from here to there and it looks so far away and so impossible but if you take the little steps you know that you can smile more tomorrow than you did today everybody can everybody can you know that you can be a little more appreciative and more loving tomorrow than you were today everybody can everybody can you can take two minutes out of your day. Give oh, a, what's a, a, a happy song? Two, three minutes? Two, three minutes? You can take two, three minutes out of your day every two hours. Come on, you can do that. In your 10, 15 minute break, you can't pop on those headphones and listen to a happy song while you're taking your break. You can do that. So instead of taking your break and sitting out there at the break table and mulling over the day and, and so far in the last two hours and who jumped you and who didn't do their job and how you wish you were outside in the sun, instead of doing that, 
pop on those earphones, listen to a happy song, at least for two, three minutes out of that ten minutes. It will change a lot. But the only way that you're going to believe that is if you try it. That's the only way you're going to believe me. That it really does make a difference. And when you see a difference, if you're looking for a difference, and you see a difference out of just doing those little things, then that will give you the self-confidence to do it a little bit more the next day. And a little bit more the next day. And as you do that, you change timelines. And everything around you starts to flow into that. Because the universe answers your vibrations about three times, whatever you send out. So if you're angry, it will send back circumstances that will make you three times angrier. If you send out a smile, confidence, happiness, appreciation, it will send you back circumstances that will make it easy for you to smile three times more, appreciate three times more, be confident three times more. But do it the little steps, little steps, little steps. Walk your way across it. Try not to look at all those past things. Don't look at the big things that you can't control, that you can't change. Look at the things that you can. And I guarantee you, everyone can smile more. And that smile, even if it's on your, your just your mouth starting, get it so that you go from smiling all the time to smiling with your eyes too. Look at yourself in the mirror and smile. Be honest about it. If you looked at somebody who was smiling at you like you are looking at you, would you feel that they really meant it? And if you don't, keep smiling until it hits your eyes. So you can smile with your eyes. Then after that, you smile with your face and your eyes, your body will respond. The vibrations that come from it will respond. And people will respond in a like manner. They will walk away and turn away if they're in a bad mood because they don't want to hear your good news. Like attracts like. You will be, somebody will come up to you with good news. And as long as you don't let that good news trigger you like, oh, well, they just got a new card. I don't have a new card. Bam, oh, slam, oh, you're back vibrating low. Any time that anyone has good news, you should immediately be happy for them. Be happy for them. Being jealous of them will not get what they've got taken away from them, and it will make sure that you never get it. And I'm pretty sure that's not what you want. So, yeah, it's a good idea to smile, be happy. When people bring you their happy news, be very, very happy for them. Truly, truly happy for them, no matter what it is. No matter what it is. Don't do the, well, they don't deserve it. I deserve it. Why don't I have that move? Don't say the, well, they probably screwed somebody over to get that. Who did she marry? Who did she make her boyfriend to get that gift? Oh, well, I bet he got that from her, his dad, or his family. I bet that's family money. Don't do any of that. Just be happy for them because they've got something happy, happy happening for them. That will draw more good stuff to you. Baby steps, okay? Baby steps. A little bit every day. But I think that writing down the way your day wants to be in absolute detail. As much detail as you can possibly, possibly do. Try to think of the days that you have had that you've repeated over and over and over again. And see how you can make, see how you were negative. Look honestly at them. Look honestly at yourself. And write how you would like it to be. Then think of that along the day. All right. Okay. Let's give that a go. Okay. Huge hugs, guys. I love you so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.